Слышу голос из прекрасного далека, Голос утренний в серебряной росе. Слышу голос и манящая дорога, Кружит голову, как в детстве карусель. A half full one. Last time I had my treatment, I overheard this woman talking to other patients how um, cancer caused her to see that the life is beautiful. And I meet these enlightened cancer patients here and there, and they write about how cancer was their wake up call, how it caused them to change everything around in their life and now they are true to themselves and, and all this um, thanks to the cancer. <laughs> so I am so far away from being that enlightened. No, seriously, I just will never be able to think like this. In the beginning, I was very frustrated because it's like, you know, they want to excel in everything we're doing. And if, if what I'm doing now is uh, battling with cancer and I want to excel in it. I want to be, you know, like all these enlightened people. And oops, I'm not. But I thought to myself that I can think uh, in a more simplistic way and it will help me um, to think positively without thanking cancer for ruining my life. Here is the glass of water and um, I'm going to drink uh, half of it. Now we're going to be thinking that this glass is half full and not half empty. In order to do so, I had to sit down with myself and to think about what are the positive things that I have experienced ever since. And I was surprised that there were quite a few that I can name. So I will share them with you. So I have two art degrees and unfortunately, most of my adult life, I was a single mom and I had to work very hard to provide for us. Um, and I always had this itch inside of me for creating art, for painting, for sketching which I just couldn't realize and I always told myself that I will do that when I get retired and uh, now that um, I am home I have some time to create art and yes I um, don't feel well and um, I don't have much energy to spend and invest into this but come on I would probably be retired in a very, at a very old age and probably my whole body would be aching anyways and I would be old and sick and I don't think I would have more energies than I have now. I think I'm probably compatible now with a, any like a, an 80 year old woman, like, like an average 80 year old, old woman. So here is my opportunity for investing into my art. Another thing is rediscovering myself as a self-contented observer. As long as I remember myself, I liked watching from a side. But when you chase through the life, you get very little opportunity to do so. Now, when I spend hours being disabled from doing things, I can go back to my roots and just uh, enjoy watching the shadows on the walls and colors changing throughout the day and leaves moving on the trees outside of the window. It's like I am being still and now the world is chasing through me. And laying there and thinking about it, I remember that growing up in our neighborhood, there was a building down the street and next to its entrance stood a World War veteran that didn't have a leg and an arm. He stood there on his crouches and it felt like he was on some kind of mysterious duty every day from early morning to late evening 
just being some kind of a watchful eye and a protector. Today, I understand that that was his way to stay alive. And in a way, he gave me a lesson for later on in life. And he was a wise man. So, what else? Um, another thing is that uh, people now are extremely nice um, to me. To the point that uh, when someone snaps um, at me, I feel genuinely surprised. And this is kind of fun because um, what a joy it is to see everybody in their best light. And the last one I want to share with you, it's about my worst qualities of being obsessive and engaging in self-destructive behaviors and how um, the disease just neutralizes these feelings. And it doesn't matter that it's a matter of simply not having energy to do so and not an outcome of evolving spiritually. The bottom line is, life is so much better off without um, these things for me. Here is my half um, glass full of today. And because of my daughter who annoys me all the time that I don't drink enough, I'm gonna finish this glass of water and claim that an empty glass can be a good thing also for someone.